Has it ever happened to you that an opponent hits your shield, you press your out of shield punish, but absolutely nothing comes out? Or even worse, you press up B and you get a roll? This ends now. There are two main ways to guarantee your out of shield option comes out. Shield drop and hold shield. The first method is by far the best one, and I'll explain later why. For the drop shield method, hold shield to block the attack. As soon as the attack hits your shield, let go of shield and press up B. Keep up and be pressed until the move comes out. For the second method, hold shield to block the attack. Do not let go of shield. Keep up and be pressed until the AB comes out. Now these two methods have a slight problem. If you play a character that can charge his up B, like the Lynx, your character will start charging on the first actionable frame, and you have to manually release the up B at the perfect time for it to be frame perfect. So let's replace the hold buffer of these two techniques with a mash of B instead. I'd like to point out that to perform the up B input, you can either hold up first and then B, or press up and B at the same time. What you should never do is press B and then up. I guess that's why it's called up B and not B up. Earlier, I said that the first method is way better than the second one. Why is that? First off, teaching your brain to release shield as soon as your shield gets hit may lead to some accidental parries if you let go of shield up to 5 frames early. The real reason, however, is that it prevents accidental rolls. Let me explain. Accidental rolls usually happen when you try to do a reverse up B. If you tilt the control stick too much to the side, a roll comes out. Letting go of shield completely bypasses that problem. Speaking of reverse up B at a shield, note that you don't need to have the control stick tilted to the side right away. You can actually adjust the direction of the stick during the mesh. The last thing I want to talk about is up smash out of shield. Since you can't reverse up smash out of shield, we don't have to worry about rolls. However, the methods you use for up B don't quite work the same for up smash. So, to get frame perfect up smashes, you simply have to mash up and A at the same time. If you have A and B set to smash, you can reproduce the up B inputs, but I personally think it's too complicated. I understand this may have been too much information, and you may be confused. So let me give you a quick summary. To up B at a shield, let go of shield as soon as your shield gets hit. Press up and mash B. To do a reverse up B at a shield, do the same thing, but tilt your stick either directly or during the mash. To do an up smash at a shield, either hold or let go of shield, both work, and mash A and up repeatedly. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Oh, and follow Jay on Twitter, he's really good, thank you.